So if you're not already familiar with the AHREF's health score, essentially once you're in your AHREF's account, you can add projects here. You know, just click create, add a project. That will scan the site and give you a health score based on any issues that may be picked up by AHREFs. And then if you click on this panel right here, it'll take you to a page that looks like this. And this is the overview for the site audit, essentially. And you'll see the health score here it says excellent. We can see how that's changed over time. So we've been fixing all of the different issues, which led the health score to go from an 89 to a 100. And now we've kind of been stuck at 100 for the last couple of months, which is good. Obviously, that's what we want. And that's just from fixing any of these errors here. So if you click on the errors right here, it'll show you what issues there are with the site. And this is, of course, technical SEO issues, you know, things like 401, um, 401 redirect errors, uh, you know, all sorts of different stuff will come up in the errors panel here if you do have issues from a technical SEO aspect on your website. There are a couple of warnings and notices, so we might want to go through and fix those. And of course, anything that you hover over that turns to orange here, you can click on and see in more detail what's going on. And there's even a, a distribution of errors um, for the URLs, top issues, HTTP status, error, error codes, um, all sorts of different things here that you can dive into. And when there's an issue, you can click on view here and that will allow you to see more in depth what what issues are actually showing up on your site and then of course as you fix those issues your health score is going to increase as as those errors are resolved now this tool is not a hundred percent accurate right it's using um, it's using its internal metrics to figure out what's working and what's not, what errors it sees, what, what it thinks is issues. But sometimes you have to take it with a grain of salt. It's not always going to be 100% accurate. So if your health score, if you can't get it to 100, you know, the best thing to do is try to fix as many of the errors as you can and get it as close to 100 as possible such that there aren't any major glaring issues that would be preventing your website from showing up at the very top of the organic search results. So that's basically it. I mean, there's there's so many different various issues that can be happening that I'm not going to take the time to go through every single one of them with you on this video. But if there are specific issues that you're running into that you don't know how to solve, go ahead and drop them in the comment section down below and I'll reply to them there and we'll help you get them fixed up that way. If you're like most new business owners, you're probably struggling to get your online presence established, let alone get it to the point where it's bringing you a consistent flow of customers, right? <laughs> so that's why I created this free course where I actually walk you step-by-step -step through the whole process of setting up your online presence. This is the same process we've been using for our clients for over a decade in one of my agencies. And essentially, I'm going to show you how to set up an SEO friendly business name right from the get go, how to develop your website really quickly and easily, how to set up your Google Maps listing, start getting some Google reviews, everything you need in order to have a substantial online presence where people can actually start finding you and, and purchasing your products or services. <laughs> Best part is I'm going to show you how to do it in under a couple of hours and all for less than 50 bucks. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up today. Make sure to check this course out for free right now because I'm probably going to start charging for this at some point in the future. All right, I'll see you on the other side.